Hello. God bless. Proverbs challenge, day 20. We're doing a chapter of Proverbs a day. There's 31 Proverbs. And there's 31 days in August. Today is August 20th. This is Proverbs chapter 20. On life and conduct. Wine is a mocker, strong drink, a riotous brawler. And whoever is intoxicated by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the roaring of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger forfeits his own life. It is an honor for a man to keep away from strife by handling situations with thoughtful foresight. But any fool will start a quarrel without regard for the consequences. The lazy man does not plow when the winter planting season arrives. So he begs at the next harvest and has nothing to reap. A plan, motive, wise counsel in the heart of a man is like water in a deep well. But a man of understanding draws it out. Many, of, many a man proclaims his own loyalty and goodness, but who can find a faithful and trustworthy man? The riotous man who walks in integrity and lives life in accord with his godly beliefs, how blessed, happy, and spiritually secure are his children after him who have his example to follow. A discerning king who sits on the throne of judgment sifts all evil like chaff with his eyes and cannot be easily fooled. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure from my sin? Differing weights, one for buying and another for selling, and different measures, both of them are detestable and offensive to the Lord. Even a boy is known as distinguished by his acts, whether his conduct is pure and right, the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the omnipotent Lord has made both of them. Do not love excessive sleep, or you will become poor. Open your eyes so that you can do your work, and you will be satisfied with bread. It is almost worthless. It is almost worthless, says the buyer, as he negotiates the price. But when he goes his way, when he boasts about his, this, his bargain, there is gold and an abundance of pearls, but the lips of knowledge are a vessel of preciousness, the most precious of all. The judge tells the creditor, take the clothes of one who is certy for a stranger and hold him in pledge when he guarantees a loan for forgive for foreigners. Food gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be filled with gravel. Just as sin may be sweet at first, but later its consequences bring despair. Plans are established by counsel, so make war only with wise guidance. He who goes about as a gossip reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with a gossip who talks freely or flatters. Whoever crushes his father or his mother, his lamp of life will be extinguished in time of darkness. An inheritance hastily gained by greedy, unjust means at the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait expectantly for the Lord, and He will rescue and save you. Differing weights are detestable and offensive to the Lord, and fraudulent scales are not good. Man's steps are ordered and ordained by the Lord. How then can a man fully understand his way? It is a trap for a man to speak a vow of consecration and say rashly, it is holy and not until afterward consider whether he can fulfill it. 
A wise king sifts out the wicked from among the good and drives the threshing wheel over them to separate the chaff from the grain. The spirit conscience of a man is the lamp of the Lord, searching and examining all the innermost parts of his being. Loyalty and mercy, truth and faithfulness protect the king, and he uprolls his throne by loving kindness. The glory of young men is their physical strength, and the honor of aged men is their gray head, representing wisdom and experience. Blows that wound cleanse away evil, and strokes reach to the innermost parts. I love you all. God bless.